Now this is a flashlight we have talked about a number of times on the channel. This is the Olight i5R. And it was actually, it's actually a pretty good light and I have recommended it in the past. And recently I have been made aware of a competitor. So the question is, is this the Olight killer? Let's talk about it. Starting with quality and size and everything else. So both of these flashlights are incredibly similar in length and design, right? They both are tail switch flashlights and uh, they have very similar clips, similar dimensions, which is about 95 millimeters or 3.4 inches long and uh, similar dimensions in thickness as well. But that's kind of where it stops and uh, we'll get to all of the other features in a moment. But as far as quality is concerned, and I've taken both apart, they both rank at around a three out of five when it comes to quality. They, everything is working properly. The threading works properly. Nothing's out of place. Great. Awesome. Completely acceptable. Everyone was going to be satisfied with that. Now, let's move on to something that's far more interesting, and that is the user interface. These are quite a bit different when it comes to user interface. The i5R is very familiar to a lot of people. It's simply two modes. It has no mode memory. Click it once, you get 15 lumens. Click it twice, you get 350 lumens with the proprietary battery. In the case of the Ace Beam, and I'll, well, I'll talk about this in a minute. As you can see, it came in on high because it has mode memory and the last mode that I used it on was a high mode. Now, this actually has three different setups, a low of five lumens, a medium of 190, and a high of 550 lumens. Now, as I said, you're gonna have to fully depress the flashlight in order to cycle through the modes, but there's also another option. So as you saw, it's in high. So if I half pressed, I can do that three times and cycle back through. See that I can cycle back through it simply by half pressing it. So that's the other way you can adjust, go through the user interface. Neither one is bad. They're just different from a preference perspective. Some people like myself like to know that every single time it's going to come in on the lowest mode. But conversely, some people really want to know they can set it up to have that maximum output, that big punch right off the bat. So it's going to depend on who you are to determine which, you know, flashlight you might want to consider. So on this, it's kind of a draw, just about preference, both scoring about a three out of five on the user interface. Now outputs, we just ran through, but we'll, we can clearly see that there's a bit of an advantage for the ACE beam here, getting 550 lumens, but that's kind of not the entire story. The Olight actually has better output than you might expect because it actually has more candela for the amount of lumens that it actually has, meaning that it's going to throw a beam much further for the same marked lumen count. So even though it's 350, they're going to both reach similar distances when you're actually looking out in a field or elsewhere. So it's a pretty close call, definitely with an advantage being the, um, the ace beam. I don't like this name. I'm just going to call it the ace beam. And I would probably give this like a three star rating and probably also give this a three star, maybe even a two star rating on output. When we're talking about 14500 and double A combinations, there are flashlights out there with substantially more output um, in a variety of different ways. So these kind of fall on the lower side of average. Now, as far as run times, and this is where things get really interesting. Run times is kind of a wash, but for different reasons. So with the i5R, you get a solid 10 minutes on high before it drops down to a lower output of 170 lumens. And that will then run for 170 minutes or just under three hours on its high setting, okay? And then it will run 37 hours on the 15 lumen setting. 
Both of these are very good, showcasing a lot of longevity. And if you put a AA in this flashlight, you're going to get even longer run times, just not a high as high an output for the high mode. So I think it goes down from 350 to 250 base, and then it will run for a very long time, all depending on the battery that you put in it itself. So when it comes to longevity, the i5R has stayed in my top three as far as uh, endurance. And that's probably still going to be the case. And the i5, I'm sorry, the Ace Beam over here, not as impressive on run times. Uh, that's not really the focus of this flashlight. So it runs for only 35 seconds in the 550 lumen output range before it gets too hot. And I could attest to this and then drops down to 330 lumens, which is actually very respectable, right? That's actually a nice drop if I'm really being honest. And that will run for an additional hour approximately with the 14500 battery. So that's a pretty substantial difference, an hour, three hours. And so I'm not really keen on that. But in its lowest mode of five lumens, it can run for 50, I want to say 56, 56, or is it 58? I can't read it. 58 hours. It'll run for 58 hours in its low mode. So in that regard, it has a bit of an advantage. And I got to say, the 15 lumen and the five lumen modes, this is definitely brighter but I'd actually prefer it to be lower. So this is going to win in that regard. Because of that, it's kind of a wash, right? You can see the advantages when it comes to a brighter output setting, it does, this is gonna do better. And you would think the middle, the middle mode here of 190 lumens would be that sweet spot. So you could actually like, you know, be competitive, but actually the 190 lumen um, setting only runs for two hours and uh, 21 minutes. So even from the high of the Olight, it still runs for a longer period of time. All right, let's move on to the next section, versatility. Oh, I didn't say, first of all, both of these get like about a three star rating on longevity for different reasons as we just talked about. Now, as far as versatility, these are pretty normal flashlights. The one thing they have going for them is they both have uh, reversible clips so you can clip them on a hat. And that may not matter to everyone, but it matters greatly to me. I get up at 4 a.m. every single day. I use a flashlight on a low mode every single day. And working hands-free, making my cup of coffee and getting out the door, it's a necessity. And so for that reason, they get a three out of five stars. Nothing spectacular. They don't have any additional features, but the reversible clip is very, very much appreciated for both of these. And I will mention some brands have tried this and really sucked at making these clips, but this is one of the nicest, firmest clips. It's actually, actually a little bit better spring action than even the Olight. So I really, really like the clip on this. Really well done by Ace Beam. Okay, now, so we're gonna come around to the last category and then we're gonna make some conclusions. So the last category is about value, how much value it is. So the, ver well, this is a special edition, okay? But the Olight comes in MSRP around $37 for the black version or the base model. Okay, and now these colors don't matter. They're all about the same for the Ace Beam, but the base price, the MSRP for this is 30. But when I went to purchase this a few days ago, it was only $19. And I think, I'm hoping, as we're making this video and posting it today, uh, it still is $20. Because if it is, this is the easiest decision ever, right? Clear winner and absolutely a five out of five on value. Because not only are you getting a 14500 battery inside the flashlight, sorry, a little loud, but you're getting a high CRI beam. You're getting IP68 waterproof rating. You're getting the flexibility of using two different fuel types. This is a very, very good offering at $20. Like insanely good. Maybe one of the great, the best values overall that you can buy right now. And in that regard, definitely smashes the Olight. Um, so they gives a solid 
you know, five stars. And the Olight, in its current state at 37, that's a three out of five for me. Um, but, and this is a stipulation that I want to put in there, if you're paying attention to the flash sales that Olight has um, on a mo near monthly basis, these go on sale regularly and you can get them for as low as 30. So they could very much equal out, okay, a little bit when it comes to price. Both of these are decent on value, even at their base prices, but the the um, the Ace Beam definitely wins here. All that said, very long windedly, by the way, who wins, at least for me? Well, I think for me, the winner is gonna have to be the Ace Beam. If I was picking one, it would be the Ace Beam for a couple of reasons that are important to me personally. First of all is the actual uh, color tint and quality of the light. The warm beam is much nicer on my eyes and being a high CRI 90 plus, is a huge bonus um, and the fact that it actually has an ultra low mode five lumens is great uh, i much prefer a, an even lower setting than the 15 in the olight when i get up at 4 a.m which i do every single day except the weekends and so this is really really important to me to have that and i don't want to strain my eyes and i definitely don't want to be holding it in my mouth or anything like that so it has everything I want as far as the settings are concerned. The other thing that I really like about this flashlight is that it does not use some weird proprietary battery like the Olight does. I loved the upgrade to the i5R, you know, that they made to the i5T with this flashlight, but what didn't make any sense and still doesn't make any sense is why this has 2.4 volts well, this has 3.7 volts, and this is the standard. If I put this flat, this battery in the i5R, it will turn on. It's not going to damage it, but notice that it's a single-mode flashlight now. And you might be thinking to yourself, well, that's great. All I wanted was the high mode anyway, except here's the problem. It's coming in at a lower output than the high mode with this battery. It's... If this is like 350, this is like 300 or 250. It's not as bright. So that's kind of a disappointment. Had this been the case where putting a 3.7 volt battery makes it basically a single mode rocket at like say 600 lumens, oh, the, the Olight would absolutely trounce this competition. But I think, I think that it's kind of a missed opportunity here. The need to use a proprietary battery is just a bit annoying. And I'm not, I'm not really a big proponent of it. Those two are the biggest, the biggest things for me personally. But there is, and, and this is where I think for most people this may end up as a draw, the longevity, specifically using a AA battery with the Olight, it's just so good. It's so much better than the Ace Beam is. In fact, if you look at what it says, and I'm, I'm not going to make you read it, but it's such a weird, like, runtime with a standard battery. I don't understand why it only runs for what looks like a total of, I don't know, less than an hour and a half or two hours with these other battery types. Where the Olight, it just, it runs probably like five or six hours on high with a standard AA you buy off the shelf. And that's pretty amazing. So depending on what you're into and what you need on a day-to-day -day basis, you can make either choice. And I think that either one is good, assuming that they are equal in price, which right now they are not, because this is actually at $19, $20, and this is at $37, even for the base model. So that's what it comes down to. And in that regard, the Ace Beam is definitely the winner. I will say though, if you're able to get the Olight on their monthly sales, where they have them, you know, for 20 or 30% off, this gets a lot closer, even for me. So keep that in mind. Don't ever buy this on Amazon. Always, always, always wait till one of the Olight flash sales and then do it then. It's pretty damn close. But me personally, I like that Ace Beam. I think this is a really, really good offering from them and i like seeing more of these truly 
you know, useful, I wouldn't say generic, I was about to say it, but just works. I like it. Just fix the uh, run times with the standard batteries, and I think this is absolutely going to end up being the Olight killer. Anyway, thanks for your time, and we'll talk again soon.